so some additional editings you can do to customize your theme when you are already in this customized section like i showed you earlier so now i've actually switched to this other website so that you can actually see the changes clearly so whenever i do some changes since he has advanced editing options you can actually see it so if i go to the color section and on this color section here you can actually change global coloring so as you can see this website the main colors there and this is exactly where you set those colors so you set your theme color here your link color here over color like hover is when you you move your mouse over something like if i move my mouse over this you see the color changes that's over color and then you can see um heading color so by default this is a heading color you can go ahead and set this default setting so that when you're customizing your website you don't need to be always changing colors all the time so that's also an important thing to take note of and then since this is a uh, everything is already set up well perfect and the next thing you need to set here maybe let's go to the buttons you can see that by default the buttons are set to this color you see the buttons are set to kind of blue so i'm the one who has to change this in the customization section but since your website theme is blue you can also set your button color to have that blue color so that's also another important setting that you can go ahead and implement so that when you're building your website the process is easy i just want to make you to see all these things because many people tend to neglect this when you're starting and makes your website build the process very very long so let's go now down to the footer section so on the footer section you get to customize a lot of things a lot of things that you can customize but for the other team it was not able to we were not able to change that so in this case here we we'll have the copyright section and you see everything that is always at the bottom of your website you can clearly see it here and you can customize it so you want the text that you show at the footer you can change everything here so we we'll have this copyright this tag here shows that it is attached to this so when we'll go to the live preview of the website like i gave you the link of the website you can go check it out you see how the footer is showing clearly and another part you can edit the copyright text the same as you can edit the widget let me take you back now to the site identity so let's go down here to site identities also very important these are customizations that can be done for the team and once it's done for the team it takes effect for all your website so you see this site identity this site icon is this icon that shows here if you look for this website it has a letter m if you go to another website you're going to see that it has an icon almost all websites have their icon and this is where you set it so i can decide to change the image but in this case i just want to keep the image like this this is the marfa logo that m there i don't want to change it and now we can go now to site title and logo settings in this case you're going to be setting the official logo of the website that is going to display wherever you go so let's say this is the logo and you want to change it all you need to do is click on change logo and it's going to refresh for your whole website wherever the logo is it's going to update there and then now you can come now to the side icon here again which i already showed you and you change it and it's just the whole same thing so let me go back now to see if there's any other additional thing i have to show you here the menus let's see what we can do in the menus so view all locations i already showed you how to edit menus so i'm not really going to go into detail of that but with the menu and the login customizer stuff like that i'm going to show you how to build forms so let's see what we can customize here for the forms all this here are just color customizations nothing really much so um let me go back here and see if there's anything i've left out and i've not explained to you so i think i've touched the key things that you need to know the footer the, the menu the site i didn't see and then have the header the header builder so the header builder here i think i already showed you but in this case here it's going to be different because the, 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 the header is basically made of the logo and the menu so i don't think to do it so in the next section i'm going to be also going to pass to make sure that you understand everything steady by giving you examples and show you all this so that you go ahead and try it.